brunt of the heat there. Joining us now is Congressman Joe Sestak, who is the man challenging Senator Specter for the Democratic primary. Nice to see you, sir. Good to talk to you once again. Here, and I know that you're holding a town hall uh, later on today in Center City, Philadelphia. What kind of questions are you preparing to have to answer later today? I think they're going to be across the board. There are those that feel government should not be intervening at all. There's those that feel government should do it all. And But the majority, what I find, because this is my second town hall, the first was in my district the day after I left Congress, is that people have a lot of anxiety. They're in the middle of a savage recession. How could they not have some angst? And I'm a servant a public servant who owes it to them not to be in an echo chamber in Washington, D.C., but to be out there explaining. Because I honestly believe, as someone said, that a leader is judged by the size of the problems that they tackle. And since the Clinton health care plan was derailed in the mid-90s, 10 million Americans have lost their health care. And this is an issue that I got into Congress to fight for. So, Congressman, if you are a servant of uh, your constituents there in Pennsylvania, and the majority of them are telling you that they don't like this health care reform plan, that they have health care and they like it pretty much the way it is and they don't want to see government getting involved with it, do you have an obligation to listen to what they're saying and to vote against health care reform? Absolutely, I need to listen to them. In fact, in the last year and a half, this is about my seventh or eighth health care forum. I had one for all, all day just for those for single payer where government does it all. I've had others where we discussed the different ways of doing it. But this is what I believe. We are a representative democracy. As you well know, we are not a democracy but a representative one where I need to listen but where principle matters more than politics. And in Washington, D.C., we should be held accountable. But we're also asked to lead of what is right for America overall. And this health care plan actually permits everyone who has their health care today, provided by a private insurance, to remain in their health care plan. And it only gets better in terms of being less affordable. And One that's of the, the argument that we haven't made well enough from the Democratic side. One of the big complaints, sir, uh, amongst people who don't like uh, what they're hearing from the Democrat side uh, is that there's no talk about tort reform, uh, lawsuits against doctors, against health insurance, against hospitals that really drive up the cost uh, of, of health care in this country. Uh, would you be willing uh, to sit down with your colleagues and include tort reform as a part of the health care reform debate? Well, first, I want to look at the facts, which I've done. Great question, Rick. What the studies have shown is the following, that the increase in medical cost can be, that can be attributed to lawsuits is about 1% to 4%. It varies upon which study you look at. Second, it is true that about three out of every four cases brought forward is fraudulent. But other studies have shown that only one out of every 10 cases that could be brought forward and are true are brought forward only one out of ten. So here's what I believe we should do. That it's unfair to say that a young boy, six years old, becomes a quadriplegic, which has occurred because someone did something wrong. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars maybe gives that poor young boy over the next seventy years of their life six to eight thousand dollars a year. Here's what I think should be done. Um, Congressman, Precedence. I'm sorry. We're, I, I just want to get a real okay. easy, uh, a real quick answer from you. Uh, and of course, we're all sympathetic to young kids who are involved in accidents. I would not vote for a cap accident. at all. But the I idea of tort for a cap reform. Are you in favor of tort reform, sir? Is it necessary when we talk I about not, the health care debate? If tort reform is a if a tort reform is a cap, I am not. Each person deserves their day in court, but we should do it like bankruptcy court and constitutional law where precedent matters to a jury, and we don't do that now. Understood. Congressman Joe Sestak, who will be holding a town hall meeting later on today in Philadelphia. Uh, we look forward to seeing the, the highlights uh, and the discussion that I'm sure you'll be having with your constituents. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us Thanks, Rick, very much. Jane. We'll take a